Hey guys, I don't know if you saw my video yesterday, but I did some testing on our, some patent leather with our flex additive. I did want to show you some different types of leather. This is a thin natural leather. Again, these have all been deglazed with our deglazer de uh, stripper. It's really important to do that. I did want to show you this these two are very, very flexible leathers. You're not usually going to find this, this flexible of a leather on uh, tennis shoes. You'll find treated leather for the most part, but I did want to show you our, what our flex additive does. If you happen to, uh, if you need to put it on some thin, flexible areas, or you're doing a bag, something like that. So this is a pebbled, I believe it's stamped, very similar to like a, a Air Force One or, or a Jordan maybe. Uh, it's a very tough, tough leather. It doesn't stretch. This is what you would see on a tennis shoe. Um, these are single coats. And this is our, just straight out of our bottle, Alpha Flex one coat and you could see it's not flexing it's not breaking up it's not coming off the adhesion is great and then here is with our our 50 50 flex we added i added 50 percent flexible additive and again just one coat And it holds up fine. This is uh, it's it really holds up great. Now I did want to show you some of the what happens with the uh, with a really really flexible stretchy leather. Uh, you can see here, I believe. So this is without any flexible additive on a very stretchy leather. Now I'm pulling that apart. And you can see, I'm pulling it really hard. You can see that it it starts to crack a little bit. And especially here, you can see because of the contrast. But if you put flexible additive, and you don't have to put 50% flexible additive in it, it's fine. It'll hold up. So those of you that have been having a couple problems putting it on really flexible areas, Put some flexible additive in it. It'll help the adhesion and it doesn't affect the color. It doesn't dull down the color. And here's a really good example. This is, this is straight out of the bottle and a very, very flexible leather. Now it seems that our, I believe this is uh, dark maroon. Uh, it seems like this is a little more brittle than our orange, but when you add some flexible additive to it, even on the most stretchy leather, I mean, this leather probably stretches two inches. Add a little bit of that flexible additive, you're not going to have any problems. And again, You can see here, I'm hammering on it. This little area there was just missed coverage. That didn't just flake off. Uh, if you guys have questions, let me know. You can email me directly at alphajamesalpha at gmail.com.